is Angelina. I am five years old. I am so tired home. But I have a story for you all. So listen carefully. Kaylee and the Corona Giant. Once upon a time, there lived a little girl named Kaylee. Kaylee was six years old and she lived with her mommy, daddy, her 15-year-old brother Christian and 12-year-old sister Candace, as well as her two dogs, Oreo and Othello, her kitten Lucky and her goldfish, Nancy. Kaylee was a very smart girl who loved going to school and learning new things. Each morning, her mommy made her get up at 6 o'clock where she would then say her prayers, brush her teeth and wash her face, then get ready for school. Kaylee left the house for school at 7 o'clock each day. Kaylee looked forward to going to school each day. She loved learning about numbers and words and science. She loved playing jump rope and sharing her snacks with her best friend Olivia each lunchtime and praying and singing with the entire school during assembly. When Kaylee came home from school each day, she would shower, then have something to eat, feed Lucy and Nancy, do her homework, pack her book bag for the next day of school, walk Oriana and Othello with Candace and Christian, look at television, brush her teeth, say her prayers, then go to sleep at 8 o'clock. Her mommy, daddy, Christian or Candace would sometimes help her with her homework. Just like some boys and girls listening to this story, Kaylee also loved going to the beach, spending time with grandma, going to the movies with mommy and daddy and eating ice cream with her brother and sister. Yes, Kaylee enjoyed doing so many things. One evening, as Kaylee sat at the kitchen table doing her math homework, she got stuck on a sum. She decided to ask Daddy for help with it. She went into the family room where she saw Daddy and Mommy looking at the TV. A lady was talking and the screen showed a hospital with lots of people wearing masks. Some of them were coughing and sneezing. They looked very sick. Daddy and Mommy looked serious and even Oriana Othello was quietly seated on the carpet. Daddy, Kaylee called, can you help me with something please? In a moment, sweetheart, Daddy answered grimly. Kaylee looked at the screen again and she screamed in fright, for she saw what looked like a giant, grey monster with long hands and breath like steam. It was walking through a town and people dressed in coats and boots were screaming and running away from it. They were shouting, look out, Corona giant, and trying to escape it by going into their homes and covering up themselves. Kaylee looked at her parents fearfully. Mommy hugged her and told her not to worry. Then daddy asked her about the homework. Kaylee had so many questions running through her mind. What was the Korean giant? And why was it attacking people? Would it come near her family? Would it eat her? Daddy took Kaylee onto his lap and told her that the news had reported a vicious corona giant was indeed hurting people, but it would not hurt her. Mommy and Daddy both hugged and kissed their daughter and Daddy helped Kaylee to finish her homework. The next day, when Kaylee went to school, she was still thinking about the news of the big, bad corona giant. Can you imagine how Kaylee felt? Yes, she felt scared. She heard the other boys and girls talking about it, but she did not say anything to them. All day, she kept wondering whether the corona giant would find her and blow its stinky breath upon her and make her sick too. What if she did get sick? and have to stay in a hospital far away from her family and wear a mask like the people she saw on TV. Kaylee was very worried. That afternoon, Kaylee's class had physical education. They had just gone down to the field with their teacher when suddenly they heard the booming voice of Miss Smith, their school principal. Teachers and students, school will be closed from tomorrow because the corona giant is in our town and he will make you very sick. Please stay home. 
the boys and girls started to cheer noisily. Kaylee also joined them laughing happily. No school? What joy! As much as she loved school, Kaylee also liked being at home with her family and pets too. But deep down, she still felt worried. Kaylee looked at the news with her family that night. The lady was speaking, and in the background, the ugly corona giant was stumping across the tongue, blowing over people and making them sick. Kaylee shut her eyes tight. This was a nightmare. But at least she was home with mommy, daddy, Kristen, and Candace, right? And no school meant that she could do all the things she wanted, like watch TV, play games on her PlayStation, eat all the junk food she liked, and of course, no homework. This wasn't bad. But to her dismay, mommy could not stay home with Kaylee. She was a nurse, and she had to work at the hospital longer than she usually did. Kaylee didn't mind at first. She enjoyed waking up much later than 6 o'clock and looking at TV while having her breakfast. She played all of her favorite video games and did not change out of her PJs until the afternoon. Daddy was at home, but he spent the day typing on his laptop in his room. Christine and Candace also stayed in their rooms and so no one scolded her about anything. However, soon enough, Kaylee started missing mummy. She missed having her wake her up in the morning and help her get dressed for school. She missed the delicious lunch she made. Daddy's cooking did not taste the same. When Candace did not come out of her room, she cried and worried about mommy and the corona giant. And Christian kept shouting out of his room all the scary news which he saw on TV. Kaylee started feeling scared again. She also felt so alone. She wanted her mommy to hug her. She felt like screaming. She missed going to school and playing with Olivia. She wanted to build hotels with the Jenga blocks in the library. She wanted to walk Oreo and Othello and play cricket with the other children who lived in her street. She wanted mommy and daddy to take her to the beach. What was happening to the world? What would happen to her? Why was this scary corona giant hurting people so much? What if it blew on mommy? While she was at work, what if, what if it came home for her? Kaylee shut her eyes again. She wanted to ask daddy all of these things, but she did not want to bother him. She knew that his work was very important. Shaking with fright, Kaylee went into the family room and turned on the TV. She stared at the screen, which showed the corona giant blowing furiously over people. She felt her heart beating fast. Suddenly. What was this? A tall person in white clothes was attacking the corona giant. Kaylee blinked and looked harder at the TV. The person was covered up and wore a cloth over their face. The person was praying at the corona giant out of a big can filled with Lysol and hand sanitizer. Kaylee's mouth dropped open in surprise as the person in white continued to attack the corona giant, which then turned and ran down the street out of sight. Kaylee clapped and cheered, quite excited to see the giant run away. But that wasn't the end of the surprise. Oh no, the superhero in white suddenly took off the mask and Kaylee saw the face of her school's guidance counselor, Miss Anna, looking at her. She was amazed. Miss Anna beamed on her and said, Hello, Kaylee, in her usual sing-song voice. It's nice to see you. Kaylee was speechless. How could Miss Anna see her through the TV? Miss Anna waved and Kaylee stared at her, confused. How do you feel? Miss Anna gently asked. Looking at her, Kaylee smiled weakly, still surprised. I'm okay, I guess, she replied. Kaylee, Miss Anna and her face faded a little. You look very sad and scared. I do? asked Kaylee sadly. Yes, dear, said Miss Anna. I really do feel sad, Kaylee answered slowly. She looked down at her hands and her mouth quivered. Kaylee began to cry. She heaved and sobbed and wiped her nose till her face and eyes became quite red and puffy. She hated people to see her crying, but she could not help herself. 
Miss Anna looked on quietly and patiently. She felt very sorry for the little girl. Kitty looked up slowly at the TV again and saw Miss Anna looking at her. She suddenly felt very angry. I hate the Corona Giant. I want to beat him up like you did. I miss my mommy. She started between subs. I miss my best friend Olivia. I miss my miss at school. I want to go to the beach. Daddy promised he'd take me to the zoo for my Easter holidays, but I am stuck here at home. It's not fair. And she burst into tears again. Kaylee, Miss Anna said gently, would you like to talk about it? Maybe it would help you feel better. I hate the giant, Kaylee shouted at the TV. He's mean and nasty. I want to fight him. Miss Anna looked at her with a twinkle in her eye. Hmm, maybe we can't beat him up, Kay, she said. Want to know how? Kaylee stared at her. Yes, yes, please tell me how. I hate him, she replied. Okay, let's talk about what's happening. You are feeling scared, sad, and angry because of the mean Koraya giant and that is hurting people and also because you have to stay at home. And now you miss your friends, teacher, and mommy when she's at work. Is that so? Asked Miss Anna. Kaylee nodded. Miss Anna always seemed to understand her so well. Have you talked about how you feel with anyone, Kaylee? She asked. N no, answered Kaylee, looking down again. Kaylee, look at me, said Miss Anna. It's very important to talk about how you feel with an adult such as mommy or daddy or with someone you trust, like your brother or sister. Do you know that talking about how we feel with someone we trust can make us feel better? If there's something that is bothering us or making us feel sad or hurt, talking about it can help. Kaylee already felt better just seeing and speaking with her wise, comforting guidance counselor who seemed to understand just how she was feeling. It's okay to cry, my dear, Miss Anna continued. When we are faced with something that is big and mean and scary, such as the corona giant, feeling sad, angry, hurt, and upset is normal. This is why we need to talk about how we are feeling. Miss Anna smiled at Kaylee. Do you remember when you had just started preschool? You were scared because you didn't know the other children's name and you had to be away from mommy for a while. Do you remember that? Kaylee nodded and smiled, but eventually you got used to going to school and playing with the other children. You even made friends with some of them. That's where you met Olivia, right? And you soon found out that Miss was nice and kind and she loved teaching you wonderful things. You started enjoying school and came home every day with exciting news to share with mommy. Then you came into first year at big school and everything was strange and new at first, just like in preschool, but you soon made friends again and started learning new things. In life, there are always changes which we have to face in order to do something new. Sometimes these changes can be scary, but they are always for our best. Today, we are faced with the scary news of the corona giant and we have had to make a sudden change. We are to stay home instead of go to school or to the beach or even by grandmas as we normally do. Some mummies and daddies still have to work but children must stay home so that they don't get sick. Will the corona giant come by us? asked Kaylee fearfully. Not if we don't allow him to, replied Miss Anna. You have to wash your hands carefully. Don't touch your nose, mouth, or eyes, and always cough or sneeze into your elbow. You know, while we are at home, there are many fun things we can do to keep ourselves from feeling sad, such as building puzzles, drawing a picture, or making crafts. I love drawing pictures of my dog, Orion or Delio, even though their noses always look so funny, laughs Kaylee. That's a great safe activity you can do while you are at home, said Miss Anna. But remember that soon we will be at school again, so it's important to do revision of schoolwork every day. 
you can ask your dad to help you make a timetable so that you can play when you will revise and also when you can draw your dogs. And what about feeding Lucy and Nancy? They need food too. And don't forget about saying prayers, brushing our teeth and taking our baths. That's very important also. How do you feel about that, Kaylee? Kaylee eyes sparkled. She smiled and said, I feel much better now that I've spoken with you, Miss Anna. Thank you so much. You are most welcome, Kaylee, Miss Anna returned, smiling. Is there anything else you would like to share with me? No, I think I'm good, she replied. At that moment, the door opened and Daddy walked in. Hello, Kaylee. I've been looking for you, he said. Look, Daddy, it's Miss Anna, exclaimed Kaylee, pointing to the TV. But Miss Anna just waved goodbye and then Kaylee's favorite cartoon started playing. She was speaking with me, she said. Daddy? She turned toward her father. May I tell you something, please? Sure, darling, said Daddy, laughing. But first, let's have something to eat. While enjoying her daddy's pillow, Kaylee bravely told him everything, how she felt sad and scared about the corona giant, how she wondered whether it would hurt mommy and her family, and that she missed doing fun things like going for ice cream and going to school and playing with her friends. She also talked about how Miss Anna scared away the evil giant and talked to her about her feelings and also about making a timetable. Daddy agreed with Miss Anna and told Kelly that she could talk to him anytime she wanted to about whatever she was feeling. That same evening, he and Kelly made the timetable together. When Mommy came home, Kelly also told her about what happened, and she too was delighted. As Kelly lay in bed that night, she thought about everything Miss Anna had told her. Although the corona giant was still big and mean, she no longer felt afraid or sad. She smiled to herself as she realized that by doing everything Miss Anna said, she too would be able to beat up the corona giant. The End Go back to school. Hope you all too.